Verse number 2, Psalm 22. The Bible reads, O my God, I cry in the daytime, but thou hearest not, and in the night season, and am not silent, but thou art holy, O thou that inhabitest the praises of Israel. Our fathers trusted in thee. They trusted, and thou didst deliver them. They cried unto thee and were delivered. They trusted in thee and were not confounded. And I already read some of those passages there about the people who put their trust in the Lord, and God delivers them all. People who put their trust in him will be delivered. And this is a theme that goes on through the book of Psalms as well. Verse 6, But I am a worm and no man, a reproach of men, and despised of the people. And, you know, as we read through this section right here, verses 6 through 16, you know, this is, this is the, the mind of Christ when he's being crucified for us, when he's on that cross at the point of being forsaken. And the, the very expressive words here it's one of the reasons why I love the King James Bible. It's one of many. Uh, it really makes, it really hits home with the reality of these events. We, you know, he's describing, I'm a worm and no man. People are viewing him as, as less than human. The people that hate him and the people that have beset him around him. And we'll see that too, the, these threatening dogs that are about him that are, that are causing and inflicting all this harm and pain and suffering upon him. You know, he's, he's, he's saying, I'm a worm and no man, a reproach of men and despise of the people. All they that see me laugh me to scorn. They shoot out the lip. They shake the head, saying, he trusted on the Lord that he would deliver him. Let him deliver him, seeing he delighted in him. This is what we read in Matthew 27. This is the account that's given of what people were saying when he's hanging there on the cross after he's already been beaten up and tortured, these people are walking around and saying this, and this is exactly what's recorded. I mean, this is prophesied in Psalm 22, and this is what plays out by multiple witnesses of the events that happened that have been confirmed, uh, not only in Scripture, but just historically. This is um, it's the Word of God. But, but, but this is what Jesus went through. I mean, as he's in his, his most trying time, I mean, just think about, think about something that is just so physically demanding as, you know, dying on a cross in so much pain and torturous torment, and then just having all these people around you just ridiculing you, mocking you. I mean, what else can happen to make things worse? I mean, it's, it's bad enough going through something really extreme and having people cheering and rooting for you, let alone have people just tearing you down and, and just trying to get into your head and mock you while you're in the worst position that you can possibly be in. Here, he says in verse number 9, But thou art he that took me out of the womb. Thou didst make me hope when I was upon my mother's breasts. I was cast upon thee from the womb. Thou art my God from my mother's belly. Be not far from me, for trouble is near, for there is none to help. And this is still, you know, even Jesus Christ in this moment of great despair and anguish, again, never loses faith, which, you know, we know that he, he's God in the flesh, but it's still just important as this great example for us in going through everything when everybody seems to be against you, when you're going through just the worst time you can possibly imagine and still retaining that hope and, and prayer unto God, be not far from me. 